Every year we do an aerosol art workshop with um, Good Homie Signs as the artist that comes and we create a mural together. Um, this year what we're doing is we're actually having two mural spaces uh, where one where people can work with Good Homie Signs on a sketch that he's already created and you know complete uh, already designed mural and then we also have this is a blank canvas for people to do whatever they want to do. So what we're doing just trying to make space for kind of art that's been excluded from academia. Graffiti is considered one of the four yeah. hip-hop pillars, the four pillars of hip-hop. And so you can't really have a true hip-hop culture if you deny graffiti and its impact from where it started, from how it's constantly tied into hip-hop. It shows that sense of youth and rebellion that hip-hop may have, but also shows the beauty and the creative expression that is brought about by choosing to be your individual self and expressing it on like whatever canvas you so choose. I think people, when you say graffiti, a lot of times they think of like tagging, you know, or just people writing their name really simplistically all over the place. Um, but there is a culture much deeper than that. I like to like go against that negative connotation automatically given to graffiti. Maybe people see it as just people tagging stuff, causing property damage or something like that. But I, I think it's far more than that. It's a true expression of things. It could be a, a medium to express how you truly feel, a medium to let out how you feel about certain societal issues. It goes far deeper than just someone that's trying to deface something or commit property damage. It gives you an ability to express a greater issue at hand. I think it's really important for Virginia Tech to provide a space to do this because it allows people to expand creatively and explore new activities, ideas, mindsets that one wouldn't have previously seen if they hadn't had this opportunity.